We are just about to head to the Centerfold Convention in Columbus, Ohio. I'm so excited. I already have all my models packed. My bag is packed. I already picked all my classes. Let's roll. I'm so excited. It's my first day at the Centerfold Convention. I'm already checked in. Got all my stuff. I even met some really cool people last night who showed me how to make this really cool dragon. I am a little nervous and I'm really excited because I'm one of the youngest ones here and I'm ready for a full day of folding. Let's go. my first day at the centerfold convention and I'm going to show you guys some of the models that I folded. So the first model of the day that I folded were these really cute and cool lions. I really like them because they're super easy but they get the point across really well. The second model I folded was this hex box with a lid designed by Tomoko Fuse. It's really nice so you can put a bunch of stuff in it. The next model I folded was this really cool modular star. I even attached a little string to it so I can wear it as a bracelet. I also made this really cool spinning top. It didn't get spin that well that time. There we go. And last but definitely not least, this really cool dragon. This was pretty complex, but the payoff is amazing. This was one of the best days of my life. I got to spend a whole day folding and meeting new people, learning new models, and just having fun in general. See you tomorrow. Yesterday was a great day at the Centerfold Convention. I met some really cool people and folded some amazing models. But I'm up again bright and early today to do it all over again. Fold really cool models and meet even more new people. Let's get to folding, shall we?
Today was another great day of folding, and I'm going to show you the models I folded on day two. This first model is called the Fractal Flower. It's really cool because it has this really cool concentric square. Sorry if I say the names of these models wrong. I've been folding for two days straight. The next model I folded was this really cool elephant head. I really like it because it has tons of really good shaping that make it look a lot better. The next thing I did was do the back coating workshop, which is learning different paper techniques on how to take like two pieces of tissue paper and put methyl cellulose mixture which is methyl cellulose and water and you mix it together and it makes this kind of paste and it acts as glue and when it dries it makes kind of that glisteny feeling so you do that and then you get this really good crisp sheet of paper and that was really cool i learned a lot there and the last model i folded was this really cool fun box Opens like you'd hope all boxes do. Bye. And the best part about the centerfold convention, there's even after hours folding. Let's go. such a great time at the Centerfold convention. It was so fun. I got to meet so many great people and fold some amazing models. We just got home last night, but I was completely drained. I was so tired. I had, as some people call it, an origami hangover. And I'm gonna show you guys the models that I folded, that I worked on with other people, and the models that people gave to me. So this model I folded, it's a really cool manta ray designed by Seafoam Bona. I really like it because it has lots of 3D shaping. The other model that I folded entirely on the third day was this really cool bracelet. I really like it because it has that cool stripe pattern. And this model, I'm not exactly sure what the name of the shape is, but I did half of the modules, and then one of my friends at the convention did the other half, so it was kind of a collaboration. And these two models, somebody gave to me. This cool little, I don't know, maybe a heart? Yeah, a heart really cool little spiked heart made from a dollar bill and this really cool star 
I really like it because it's 3D. I had such a great time. It was three days of completely folding from about 8.30 in the morning to about 10 o'clock at night. It was so amazing and the people were amazing. Make sure to subscribe to my channel, like this video, and comment down below if you've been to Centerfold and if you have any conventions that you want to recommend. See you next time.